Welcome everybody to today's video. If you are someone who's into football boots, which is probably why you subscribe to my channel, you're watching this now, um, or you came across my channel, uh, and I'm not the only one of course, there's people way much bigger with a way much bigger audience who also talk about football boots. If you're a fan of football, soccer here in the US, um, if you're a fan of Neymar, then you're probably familiar with um, or have heard that he left Nike um, to go sign with Puma. Um, and uh, if you see by the title of this, it, a little bit is clickbait um, and a little bit isn't. Now, let me explain. First of all, let me give you a backstory. So, apparently, Neymar left Nike. And see, I always wonder if they... When, when a player leaves a company that he's been with, especially someone that he's been with as long as he has with Nike, his whole career, um, I believe they even sponsored him before he was even a professional. I think I heard something like that. Um, so I always wonder if they always an end in, in bad blood, if there's some bad blood or they just you know agree, hey, we don't want to pay you this much. Um, so you got to go somewhere else because I always feel like as far as athletes go, I always have a feeling that when they leave a team or something, that there's bad blood. You know, it just seems like that for whatever reason, unless the player wants to leave or something. But if it's there's something that just comes up all of a sudden, you know, it always seems like there's some bad blood there. So I always wonder if um, that an athlete, when they leave a company, a brand, you know, is was there bad blood? How was that last meeting? But obviously... What I think happened here, uh, Nike just wanted to go with younger talent. They have other players who they can um, or they feel fit enough to carry on, you know, the brand. Because at the end of the day, it's about the brand. It's marketing. There's a lot of stuff that goes into play. And if I'm a consumer, I know that Neymar stuff just isn't selling well that's honest um i feel like nike created merchandise for him but it just wasn't available in the u.s because i've seen him wearing nike merchandise um, with his logo and stuff that they created i just never saw it in the u.s um so i i don't know if they just didn't want to sell it here or maybe they just think he's not very popular here in the u.s i don't know how they decide that um but so I feel like they just didn't want to pay him and, you know, Puma, Puma got his, his, his uh, signature and probably are paying him the most or there's one or two things, I guess, or maybe he just didn't want to sign with Nike again, or maybe there was some bad blood there and he left. I guess we'll never know. You know, obviously I don't think a player can talk about that stuff um, once they've signed a deal or once, you know, they're going forward with the deal, um, I feel like he's, his, he signed a signature, he's put his signature on the contract, boom, they're paying him, he's got to stay quiet, he's got to represent the brand, and that's it, and, and they'll basically um, tell him what he's going to, to wear. Um, and then I always wonder what happens with all the gear that he got, you know, with Nike, because he was with them for a very long time, you know. Does he have to get rid of all that stuff? You know, he can't wear it anymore. I, I, it's all interesting to me to, to wonder about that stuff. But anyway, so yes, I do have, um, Neymar's boots already. And I'm going to show them to you because I never made a video on these, but I have two pairs. So let me, let me put them up here. Now, some of you may be shocked and some of you may not. Some of you already know what this is. So basically what we have here, we have one colorway that was released. I believe in January and then this one was released before I've never even taken them out of the box I've never tried them on but is the Puma King Platinum yes this is the shoe that they decided to have Neymar be the face of for now for now we don't know if it's going to stay like that we don't know if it's going to continue we don't know nothing again they just signed him if you if you if you saw their um their uh advertisements and stuff like that he is at home 
um, taking pictures at home because if you didn't know, he was diagnosed with COVID. And um, obviously he was probably in quarantine. So they had to go to his house, obviously, and take the pictures. So that's why a lot of his pictures are him at home <laughs> instead of like, you know, some nice fancy um, uh, air, place. Um, but this is basically the shoe that he's wearing. Now, he did debut today in them, or depending on when you're watching this, he already debuted in the Puma King Platinum. The only difference is, I think there's no um, heel, heel um, plate in the back. So I think this is not there. And then this area um, is white. So it gives a play at the more traditional um, Puma King back that you saw. Pele, Maradona, you know, all, all those great, amazing legends. And that brings me to my other point. Puma did a very, very excellent job on their, um, in their ad, their campaign that they use basically for Neymar. To me, even though I already had these boots, it totally, if I didn't, it made me want to go buy them. You know, they, they, I think they did a really great job down to perfection on, on talking about, you know, you're, he's trying to be a legend, basically what those legends were that wore the Puma King back then. I do have a, an older Puma King, um, but obviously nothing like the original, nothing like back then that I, I actually, I actually, not accidentally, I actually blacked it out, um, completely. So this one, I may just paint it white right there to be closer to um, Neymar's version. I'm thinking about doing that. And then, of course, his has the, his logo in here um, that they designed for him, which, to be honest, I don't think that one is pretty cool. It's just the N and then it has two J's. I don't know why it has two J's in it, because if you're Neymar Jr., there's only one J. Um, but anyways... That's neither, neither here nor there. Also, he did debut, played pretty good until he got a red card. <laughs> got a red card. You know, not a, not a fun way to debut a new shoe and to start a season, I guess, but whatever. Um, I guess you got to create some controversy, you know, that's surrounding all that. So also one thing they did notice on his pair, the sole plate is the ver it's the 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 lower I don't, I don't what do they call it? lower tier it's the it's the pro model it's not the professional or the it's i think it's the puma king pro i'm not sure it's not the platinum so i don't know i don't i don't i don't really wear puma these are i've only had three pumas the other the puma king and then these puma king platinums are the only pumas i've ever had and like I said, I've only tried the other Puma <laughs> Puma King. I haven't tried these. I know it's all over the place, but just bear with me. Um, so my next thing is, I guess I would think, is is he going to stay in this boot? A lot of people think no, because how could you go from a Mercurio into, you know, which is a, has been a synthetic since he started wearing them with that Tajin synthetic. And then you know then he went to the fly knit which is what he was wearing before before he ended this to now a leather boot um could could that be something real um i don't see why not because as far as i know or i would think that players first of all they get custom custom boots for them um which means they're molded different um the inside they probably have special insoles um if you're familiar with basketball there's a player named Rashid Wallace who wore who wore Air Force Ones to play in now though that was a shoe in the 80s like 82 something like that before I was born <laughs> um that was a popular shoe and you know he wore it all the way through the 2000s I believe yeah before he retired um and they asked him like how did you how did you get away with that? And what he said was just his, his insoles. You know, you, you put the insole in 
it becomes a totally different shoe. Um, so therefore, there's ways to get around. Obviously, they're not going to give him um, the pair that like th that I have in my hand. I, like I told you already, they changed this, the sole plate on the bottom is different, more suited for what he likes probably. And I think they don't have this um, heel um, plate in the back from what I saw in pictures. Um, so could I see him staying in the Puma King? Absolutely. Um, again, if you haven't checked out the ad, go watch it. You know, it, I, I think it's, 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 it's well, really well done by Puma. Again, I'm a Nike athlete. What does that mean? Do I get sponsored? No, but I work for Nike. That is my brand. Um, so to say that they knocked it out of the park with that one, I give them huge props. You know, there's a lot, probably a lot of people. Well, there's probably a lot of people that want to try it now because of Neymar, but I feel like there's the younger generation doesn't re don't really follow up a lot on the older legends that that came. Because why? Because now it's all about um, it's all about Messi and Ronaldo. You know, you don't really hear about anybody older than that nowadays. You know, um, so but again, could he stay in this? Maybe I think maybe even. Um, if they wanted to give them different colors, why not make different colors? If they already made this one, I think they they did an alternate version of this color where, if I'm not mistaken, um, it's white and then the lines that is blue or, or the white lines that they have here are just blue, um, which still looks pretty cool if you ask me. Um, this, is, this, this is a cool looking um, boot. I love this color. I think it's great. Um, but, you know, COVID hit. And didn't really get to play or, or do anything of that. So what do you guys think? Should I um, paint this little thing white? It wouldn't take me that much, maybe. Um, and and then do another video on it. But I liked, I love the clean look of all black. And then that little um, piece in the back that's like, probably the camera won't pick it up. But it looks a little silver. Um, so yeah, that 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 is my thing on the Neymar thing eventually maybe he could switch into something else um something newer I'm not familiar with Puma's boots right now um you know I, I'm a Nike guy so I try to stay loyal to that and you know I, I mostly only review um, Nike boots which in turn might hurt me because it's a smaller audience you know obviously someone who likes Puma or someone who likes Adidas or New Balance or whatever it is is probably not going to want to subscribe to my channel or watch my videos. Um, but, you know, I feel like I stay loyal to to my brand as much as possible, obviously. These I got because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new concept. Light. It's a light leather boot. I think it kind of, um, you know, kind of battles with the, the temple. So if I get a off brand, a different brand, brand boot that is a Nike, it's because I just want to compare it to what I have. And I still am loyal and faithful to my brand, obviously, and I always will be. Even if I wasn't working for Nike, that's all I wore. You know, I wore Mercurials in the past. That was like my first high-end um, um, boot. So, um, but to end this video, wrap it up, I guess I would say I hope... I hope Neymar does stay in the in the Puma Kings, uh, whether they revamp them somehow, whether they change them, whether they make them synthetic or whatever. It's a classic boot with a modern take. That's what I'm trying to say. A classic boot with a modern take, you know, such as there's no um, tongue on them. You know, they got this incorporated. Um, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a it's what Nike's flying it mesh. I don't know what they call it, honestly. But that's in here, um, very comparable, like I said, again, to the to the temple. And we know how great of a shoe that is or was. Um, so, again, I hope he stays playing in them. Um, and, and, you know, we get that, you know, the younger demographic of, of, of cleat wearers, boot wearers, you know, hopefully they can come into the leather because I feel like it's kind of lost a lot of steam such as the Copa Mundiales, you know, now they consider those heavy, which again, there's no boot by position. If you're watching this and you feel like you have to wear a certain boot based on your position, 
um, don't do that. <laughs> Just wear whatever is comfortable for you. Wear whatever you can. Wear what you can afford. That's a big thing. You know, a lot of us, you know, want to, you know, I will tell you this. The boots matter based off of if you're, you know, your conditions. So don't wear. Oh, yeah. Another thing. These are FGAG. Therefore, you can wear these on artificial grass. I don't know how well they'll hold up because, it, you know, obviously it's a very, very thin leather. This is a light boot. I'm telling you this. I, I could wear this against the material. So but the, the stud, the stud pattern is, you know, art, for artificial grass, if you need to wear that. So these, these are really cool for that. Um, but I think that's the only reason where the boot matters, such as the stud pattern. You know, if it's raining and you got to wear soft ground, you know, wear that. If it's hard, do not wear soft ground on artificial grass. I wouldn't even recommend it on like hard, you know, outside yeah, unless it's really, really raining. I wouldn't wear the, the, the soft ground unless you really, really need to. Um, other than that, you know, if you have a, a $20 pair of boots, it's not going to matter versus a $200 pair of boots. You're still going to be the same player. You're still going to kick the same amount of strength. You're going to run fast. Could you be a little uncomfortable? Possibly. So I could see where that would affect you, but it's not, it's not really going to, you know, change your game that much. It's not going to make you that much better. Um, so just remember that, you know, a lot of people are freaking out, like, how could Neymar go to wearing leather boots from being synthetic? And he's going to be the same player. It doesn't matter. You know, if he plays barefoot, you know, if he plays with whatever shoe you give him, it's going to, it's still the same player. So you, you keep that in mind too. Remember that when you're um, deciding between boots, just wear what, what you can wear and what's comfortable for you and what you like and what you can afford. Basically, that's what it comes down to. All right. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Um, again, I do a lot of Nike reviews just because that's what I like. That's what I'm a Nike athlete. So I stick, stay loyal to that. I do a couple other um, videos here and there on some, you know, different brands, some Mexican brands that I think are pretty good, high quality. Um, so if that interests you or whatever, subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.